is no way to sugarcoat this next story or the reality of the random violence we are seeing across the tri-state. The best advice, be aware. Yeah, case in point tonight, cops at Newark looking for the skateboarding attacker who punched a 73-year-old man who was walking with his wife Friday morning. Hit out of nowhere, the man knocked unconscious. Now, the victim's daughter, scared, but talking about the insanity of this violence. Here's Anthony Johnson. This is the man police say is responsible for attacking a 73 year old in broad daylight. The whole horrifying incident caught on camera as the suspect gets off a skateboard and walks up behind the unsuspecting victim and strikes him on the head, leaving him unconscious on the sidewalk. The victim's daughter rushed to the scene and thought the very worst. This was my father, but could be somebody else could be somebody else and we have to do something to stop this crime because we can live like this. Now her mother and father are afraid to go outside. You know, in this area, we think it's safe, but it's not. They, they don't want to leave the house anymore. They're so scared. Her father is home from the hospital, but has no recollection of this brutal assault. When he woke up, he just keep asking what happened to him because he doesn't remember anything what happened. Her father and mother walk this way all the time and have lived peacefully in this ironbound neighborhood for 30 years. I feel sick, very sick, very sad, and I just I don't know what to do, what to say because I'm just... <laughs> the father had just turned 73 the day before the attack and all of his feelings about safety have now been shattered. I have no doubt that the Newark Police Department will find this individual. I have no doubt that the community will come and band together and help the police department find this individual. Investigators have been working on this case around the clock, but so far they have not made any arrests. But they say if you recognize the person in those photos, please give Newark Police a call.